Hey everybody, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I'm here to do a quick release and review of Jada Blossom's uh, June release that was, you know, started a little bit early, just out of necessity. And um, I'm going to go over each of the items, you know, go over the sizing and, and you know, give you my lovely comments along the way. Okay, so first of all, I'm starting out with the Gnome Dyes Barbecue Add-ons. Now, this is a humongous set. It's about double the size of a normal set, hence the price. Um, you can check out my assembly video. Uh, it is, you know, up on the Jada Blossom site and my YouTube site. Um, so you can check that out and watch me put these together. But just for the sake of seeing it, um, you also need to use a gnome die, either the girl gnome dies or the boy gnome dies, you know, up your choice. And then I will start with this. So these are them all put together. Okay, and you can watch me put them together on a video. So you've got a super cute little ant. You've got a little gnome hat like that looks like a watermelon. You've got a little watermelon that you can use. a. There's a piece that actually cuts a bite mark out of anything you'd like. So there's that. There's a little beer bottle or whatever type of bottle you'd like. There's a little um, picnic basket, lemonade, a lemonade cup, um, ketchup and mustard or whatever other condiments you'd like, a little fork and spatula. Um, a hot dog, a hamburger, and the adorable barbecue. And you can see the size of the barbecue on an A2 size card base. So it's quite large and can take up like, you know, you could make a barbecuing card without a gnome, right? That's how big it is. So it's fabulous. And, you know, like I said, check out my video. Um, as you see, for some of them, I used the silhouette image with the hands, you know, to give me hand placement, make it easy to pop it up. On some of them, I left them off. I just wanted to show you that you can use these items without the hands, without the gnome. So super cute stuff. Okay, next we have the Build-A-Booth barbecue add-ons. Adorable set. And you need to, well, you, you should have the Build-A-Booth die to go along with. Um, you can use them without, certainly, but this makes it a lot of fun. And I did put these together. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you can see me put these together. They're very straightforward. So you've got a little, um, you've got the word barbecue, the word lemonade, the word hot dogs. You've got a hot dog. You've got a little, you know, ringing triangle, like to, to call for people to come and eat. You've got a little cute checkered you know, tablecloth, you've got a rope, you've got the hot dogs that you can make a banner with. There's also these little stars, which are a lot of fun. Okay. And like I said, there's the rope, hot dogs. Now remember these words fit perfectly on these little sign pieces that go with the build a booth die. Okay. Now also you can have, um, there's lemons and little lemon wedges. How cute is that? There's watermelons. I think this is my favorite. Look how cute that is. And there's a separate watermelon. And there's a separate lemon and a separate lemon wedge. Like, how cute is that? Super cute for your cards. And, you know, as always, I'll show you the sizing on an HU size card base. As you can see, this little booth takes up 90, 95% of your card front. So once you're done assembling your booth and decorating it, like you're pretty much done. How cute is that? And also you can use them with the adorable gnomes at the same time, which is lots of fun. Okay, so next I'm going to pull out the brand new, where are they? Sorry, guys. Pull this off to the side. The brand new stencils. So you've got the lemon stencil. And it is beautiful. And stay tuned to the end of the video and you can see me blend them. But this is on Nina Solar White and Nina Desert Storm using Distress Oxide inks um, in Squeezed Lemonade Mowed Lawn. How beautiful is that? Like, they're just gorgeous. I love it. And I did them with a heavy hand because, you know, I like to use a heavy hand. And look how opaque that it is on that craft card or on that craft card stock. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay, and then this stencil, which is the freebie with a $50 purchase. You have to have at least one item from the, from the new release in your cart. And it will be available, like I said, um, free with a $50 purchase. Check out any of the other rules. Um, usually it's before shipping, shipping and handling and taxes. And, um, you know, while supplies last and all that jazz. But check out the, the rules. And I used black soot on Nina... Desert Storm and Nina Solar White cardstock. And isn't that fun? 
Look at how fabulous that is. Perfect, like generic background for anything, right? Perfect for a picnic, but perfect for just a fun background for your cards. You know, you can, people love to use black and white patterns. You know, you could change this obviously to be any color you'd like, but look how fabulous those are. I think that they're great. And like I said, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will blend these for you and show you how fast and easy that is. Okay, now um, next we're gonna go over the, sorry guys, I gotta make a reach, the window card mat die. I've been waiting for this. This is so fabulous. It's like our diagonal card mat die and you know, our other card mat dies that we have. So much fun, um, but this one's a little bit easier because it's like a window pane, right? So what I did was, is I cut it out of this pattern paper and look at how fabulous this is, right? How fabulous, I love it. So I'm gonna be using these on a card. That's why I have them all cut out. There we go. Um, this is also, I didn't realize I sort of didn't keep things level, so, but, just for the sake of, you know, seeing it, if you can see, it is four by five and a quarter inches. So it's the perfect um, size to fit on an H2 size card base. I just didn't line this up correctly. Do not look at that. I was looking to cut out the innards for a card that I'm making, right? I just wanted these pieces. So that's why, um, you know, it's not a perfect cut. Oh, actually, I probably have the the one that I'm going to use. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to use for it. So this is, see how perfect that is? Look at that, it's just gorgeous. And you could fill these up, make a window shaker card, you can make a window, you can have little items in each of these little spots, a sentiment, whatever you like. I just think it is beautiful and it'll be perfect on your next card. And fun to use up scraps too, right? I think it's great. So we have the sentiment set called Lemonade for Sale. It's a stamp set. And it is fabulous. And it's meant to go with your Build-A-Booth die. These sentiments fit perfectly in this little die cut piece right here. But you could stamp these on your cards just by themselves. They're super cute. So I just wanted to show you um, all the sentiments. So this is an A2 size card base and look how large they are. So this one says lemonade for sale, sweet watermelon, chili cook-off, grill master, lemonade stand, king of the grill, barbecue party, happy Father's Day, world famous barbecue, then we've got hot dog eating contest, contest and I love barbecue. So it's a nice, large sentiment set. Fun, like I said, for your build booth dies right in here. Um, or just stamped on your card. Or you could use a lot of other Jada Blossoms uh, dies to cut those out. Okay, so there's that. And lastly, we have our grilling with my Nomi's and the Grilling with My Nomi's Outline Dies. Now these are also fabulous. You know I love myself a pun. And I went ahead and I stamped these all out onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. This is, these are A2 size card bases. And I just wanted to show you all the sentiments. Um, I love these because they fit, out, fit so nicely on a card. So this one says, squeeze the day. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. You're simply the zest. Then I've got happy birthday, you know, generic. Hashtag grill know me. You, yours, you, you're so important to me. So perfect to go with that little ant. Happy Father's Day, generic. Grilling with my nomies. Like, come on, how cute is that? Life's a picnic when I'm with my nomies. Too true. Sun's out, buns out. That's kind of a fun tongue-in-cheek sentiment. Remember, we've got hot dog buns and hamburger buns. How funny is that? Frank you very much. Perfect for the hot dogs, right? Your bun in a million, again, for the buns. You've got your flipping the best. Perfect for the, that spatula sentiment, right? And you are ungrillievable, which is perfect for that new grill scent, um, die set. So this is just, I think it's an amazing release. You're gonna wanna run and get your hands on this. So much fun. Remember to check out, I've got a gnome assembly video. And if you'd like to watch me put together the new build a booth dies, stay tuned. And if you'd like to see me um, ink blend the two new stencils, like I said, stay tuned to the end of the video. And that is basically it. So get shopping everybody. Remember it's a hop right now. So you're gonna wanna participate. Comment on the blogs and you may win yourself um, a stamp set of your choice. And that's about it. Thanks, everybody.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you the blending of this new checkered stencil. This is the freebie with $50 purchase um, from Jada Blossom, you know, um, just follow the rules. Anyways, I'm using Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock, my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station, a blending brush and Distress Oxide ink and black soot. And I'm going to put on a lot of ink on here. And I just love that black and white checkerboard pattern. You can use it for anything, right? You aren't stuck to thinking just like a picnic blanket for, um, you know, a barbecue for barbecue or a picnic. You know, that's not what we're only shooting for. You could use this for anything. And that's what I'm trying to show you. So I did go heavy handed because, you know, I like my colors to pop. There we go. And I'm um, working on a Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station, like I said. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but to Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. So I'm just kind of lining it up. I'll put down my magnets and then I'll do the exact same thing on white. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, the different look according to what paper that you put it on. Remember, Distress Oxide inks sit on top of colored cardstock, so you're going to get some color, um, whereas dye-based inks will just sink into a colored background and you won't really see them. So, um, you know, if you want color on color, you're, you're going to want to choose your Distress Oxide inks. So there we are, just a quick blend. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, I like it to be heavy-handed. What can I say? I'm pretty, you know, I like my colors to pop. I'm a little bit picky that way. So I'm just going to keep blending here. This is sped up two times. And there you have it. So I'll just peel that off. I'll go wash that stencil off. And isn't that fun? So that's an A2 size card front. And it's fun stuff. So now I'm going to clean, clean up my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. I just use some hand sanitizer and a microfiber cloth and just wipe it all off. And it dries immediately because, like, you know, it's alcohol-based. And now I'm going to ink blend this beautiful new stencil um, called, what is it called again? Lemon Stencil. I should have known that. Okay, so I'm going to ink blend these leaves onto the Nina Desert Storm. I'm going to do the same thing, blend it on Nina Desert Storm and Nina Solar White, just to show you the different looks. You could also blend this on patterned paper, right? That would give you, like, you know, elevate your look a little bit. I've done that before. So I'm using Distress Oxide Ink in Mode Lawn. And I'm just trying to, you know, heavy, be heavy-handed and clean that all up. And uh, not clean it all up, blend it all in <laughs> and, uh, you know, get my leaves nice and sharp. You kind of want to go like swirl to the right, swirl to the left. You'll get all the crevices. You know, if you're going to be blending, like I said, this is sped up two times. I don't blend this fast. There we go. And I will pull it off. And there are the leaves. I'm going to do the same thing again, but to my white. Now, this is a six by six inch piece of um, cardstock. I decided to do square backgrounds for these ones. And then I'll cut them down to what I need, right? That's the nice thing about these larger stencils. It also gives you, you know, it gives you a perfect size for an A2 size card front, and it'll also give you a strip to add to the inside if you like to do that, right? So now I am ink blending onto the white. Again, like I said, Distress, distress Oxides are my favorite. I find that they're really forgiving. You know, you don't have to be perfect. You can stamp with them. They blend really well. I don't know. I just quite like them. I like that you can put them on a on a craft and they show up. I just think it's fabulous. So that's why I really do love my Distress Oxide inks. So there we go. I'm going to pull that off my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. And then I will go clean that up. And I'll clean up the actual little magnetic platform. And now I'm going to add on the lemon lemons. There we go. And I'm just going to, you know, try and I realized that there was a little piece left in there. So make sure check your stencils. You know, sometimes a little piece can be stuck in there. You don't want to, you know, miss out on, you know, one of these beautiful little lemon wedges. So I'm just quickly applying squeezed lemonade in Distress Oxide ink, um, Uno with a blending brush again. And I just think this is beautiful. It really pops. And, you know, just, you know, between you and me, I hate yellow. I really hate the color yellow. I don't like to wear it. 
I don't know, lately I've been using it more in crafting. I don't know, I, I must have hit myself on the head or something because all of a sudden I'm using yellow more than normal. It's not my favorite at all, which is really weird, right? It's just, I just find it so odd <laughs> that I'm using yellow all the time and I hate yellow. Very strange. There we go. So I'm pulling that off and look how pretty that turned out. Like it looks so fresh, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but onto that uh, Nina Desert Storm six inch square. And the nice thing about Distress Oxide inks, like I said, it's they sit on top of the cardstock. So, you know, they're a little bit opaque. So you can, you know, ink blend onto colored backgrounds and you'll be able to see it, which is lots of fun. So I'm just sort of ink blending this all. And, you know, like I said, I do blend, you know, to the right, to the left, to get in all of those little crevices. And I just think it's beautiful. Look at that gorgeous stencil. Like how beautiful is that? I love it. And there are the two stencils. Okay, so now I'm going to put together these Build-A-Booth barbecue add-ons and you're gonna want the Build-A-Booth die. This is sped up two times. So quickly, I am putting together a little piece of watermelon. I'm using uh, Doodlebug Gingham Linen Rainbow Petite Prints, that's the pink. The green is New Leaf. And the white is um, Paper Trank white cardstock. There we go. I'm using, I use a combination between either Nouveau glue or Art Glitter glue. I also pull out my um, ATG gun, I believe. There we go. And I did cut the background out of American Crafts um, black cardstock. So there we go. That's that new leaf. I'll show you me putting together a couple of them and then I'll just, you know, have them put together for you and, and assemble it. So this is super cute. Um, you could use it with, uh, you know, so many sentiments. There is a sentiment on the Lemonade for Sale um, stamp set. It says, um, where is it? Sweet watermelon, right? Which is perfect for this. And, you know, your gnome has a little watermelon hat, so that's fun. Remember, you can check out my gnome assembly video to check that out. There we go. Now, you can use those separate, right? You do not have to use them on this banner. The banner is just fun. So I'm just popping up all of these little watermelon on the banner with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go. And how pretty is that? It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love that hot pink with the green. It looks so pretty. There we go. There was a lot of die cutting involved for this. But remember, you can use those little banners so there's the wood or, or there's the rope little banner there's the little triangle like you're ring, ringing for the grub now I cut out the hot dog banner in pure poppy cardstock from paper tray ink and then I cut the little bun out of paper tray ink craft cardstock the little hot dog is cut out of American crafts kind of like a rust color there we go and it's nice to be able to cut these little hot dogs separate. You could use those on a card. You could use this little banner itself on just a card. You don't have to use the booth. The booth just makes things more fun, right? Because you can decorate it and have it however you like. You can put a gnome in there with it or you can have it by itself. Whatever, it's lots of fun. So there we go. And I'm just going to stick down, see these are the little wieners now, using my um, glue and my reverse tweezers. I always work on a Stampin' Up! pad. All my die cutting is always done with my Gemini machine, either my little Gemini Go or my big Gemini machine. Um, there I was just showing you on my booths. One booth is cut out of uh, G-Min Tindalo cardstock. It's like a wood grain cardstock that I got from cutcardstock.com. Dot com. The other one is cut out of lemon tart cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Now, this little banner was cut out of Paper Tray Ink black cardstock. Then the little lemons were cut out of Harvest Gold from Paper Tray Ink. And then the little background of those lemon wedges were cut out of um, Swiss Dot Rainbow Petite Prints from Doodlebug. So I'm just sort of gluing them all down. Remember, you can use the little lemons by themselves or, you know, with this banner. And like I said, the banner can go on that booth if you like or not at all. It can just go on a card. So I'm just adding them all together here. I find the reverse tweezers really help me, you know, get a hold of these things. And then I will go ahead and I'm going to pop them up with Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, which is a lot of fun, like I said before. So, um... Yeah, I'm loving this new release. I don't know about you. You'll have to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. 
so much fun. Um, I like that that new um, barbecue add-ons for the gnomes is all in one set instead of two. Because when I'm looking for something that's barbecue related, I know I can just, I know which one, it, I know what I'm looking for. I know which little package to grab. Um, you know, I just think it's, for me, it's more handy. So there we go. There it is on that one. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out this little checkered tablecloth out of white. You could cut it out of checkered. You can cut it out of whatever color you'd like. But I decided to pull out a Copic marker and color like, you know, in a checkerboard pattern, um, R46. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is a country look. So I'm just sort of adding color to kind of have a fun little tablecloth look. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what makes it fun, right? So there we go. I'm just adding in that color. And like I said, you could cut this out of a solid if you'd like too. There it is. And then how fun does that look? There we go. You can build your little barbecue look. Okay. So next I'm going to pop up this little hot dog on my sign. That's from the Build-A-Booth dies. And then I'm going to put my little word barbecue. That was cut out of Paper Tray Ink Pure Poppy Cardstock. That's my favorite red. And I'm using um, Nouveau Glue for this one. And I'm just trying to, and you know, Easy C Tape. Just trying to peel it off. There you have it. And how cute is that? Like a little barbecue, little hot dog look, right? And there's a little ant or a little fly or whatever that's cut out of black paper tray and cardstock as well. And then I cut out the word lemonade. Um, and I do pick up the letters with a piece that easy C tape just so I can keep them looking exactly as they were intended, which is just my crazy. You can put them down, glue them one by one. You don't have to have them exactly the same. That's just me. So I'm going to stick that down onto my little sign. I'm going to do the same thing with this one hot dogs that was cut out of paper train black cardstock. And then I will stick that down on my last little paper train white little sign base that all those all came from the build a booth dies, right? That same little sign fit is the one that fits all the lemonade for sale stamps or all the other stamps that we've had um, to go along with our build a booths which is fun. And then you can just use that on a card, right? Like a, a sentiment on a card. Okay, so there we go. Hot dogs. We've got, there we go. Lemonade. How fun is that? Just making sure there's nothing sticking out. I do add another layer just for some dimension because I thought it looked great. So there we go. There's a lemonade. And there is the little lemons. Super cute stuff. Okay, so next we are putting together, adding the little hot dog on there. And I'll add a little star. Remember, there's two little stars that cutouts that come with this set, which is fun. I just cut those out of um, Pure Poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Like I've always say, that's my favorite red. And there we go. Isn't that cute? We can add that to whatever booth you'd like. Lots of fun. And you can design your booth to look however you'd like, like it to look. I'm going to add a couple more of those little tiny stars. Of course, they're sticking on my page. I'm um, using my Studio Katia embellishment wand because they're tiny, right? And I'll stick them on the hot dogs just for fun. And that is all. So thank you for watching, everybody. And get shopping. Bye.